As we start to pray, we're asking you, our friend watching through television, to join us as these are joining us here in the Big Tent Cathedral. We want your compassion, your prayers. We want you to open your heart and help us pray. And pray for yourself. You may need a healing. And if you would like us to pray with you personally, you just write us. You, you can reach me this week by a letter. Oral Roberts, Tulsa 2, Oklahoma. We'll pray with you. We believe God can hear and answer prayer. I want to make it clear that I cannot heal. I do not claim any healing power. Only God has power to heal. I am a servant, an instrument God is using, a point of contact to help people release their faith. Our faith is in God. So we're ready to go, Brother Deweese. How do you do? I am, Brother Robert. I've been waiting two years for this opportunity. You're so short of breath. What's the matter? I just guess I'm excited. <laughs> well, isn't it big? Oh, you have tuberculosis oh, in both lungs. Yes, sir. Oh, God. This is Anna. That's right. Of... There's a lot of. Member of the Church of Christ. And Anna, you've come for your healing. Yes, I have. Have you a family? I have. Children? Two sons, yes. Are they depending on this tonight? They are. Put your hands on your chest. Audience, have compassion for a mother tonight. Oh, God, open these lungs. Christ, I know thou art standing by my side, and I touch her as you would have me touch her. I touch her because you tell me to touch her in the name of Christ. What? I'm all right. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you say that? I just know I am. I've waited so long for this. Well? I just know you as my contact. I know it. Contact for what? For my healing. To God? Yes. Thank you, Jesus Christ, and thank you for your prayers. Are you breathing? Yes, I am. But I have, I'm under treatment, you see, and I have this air that I take. Yes. I don't know the medical yes. name for it. But you will go back to that doctor for an examination. I will. I'm due for x-rays Friday week. Oh, good. How You'll hear you? from me. <laughs> <laughs> <Go ahead>. <laughs> <laughs> Young man. Why are you here? Uh, I, I stutter, and, uh, and uh, I have got a uh, hole in my uh, eardrum. Eddie Foster, 13, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Uh, he's been saved during the meeting, I suppose. Yes, sir. And you're not a member of a church? No, sir. Well, were you born like this? No, sir. How long have you stammered? Well, since I was small. Eddie, what makes you think Christ will heal you? Because I just know he will. In my Savior's name, let him talk for the rest of his life without stammering or stuttering. Heal his flesh and heal so that the fear leaves him and may he never stammer again in Christ's name. Eddie, did you feel the Lord? Yes, sir. Where did you feel him? All over. Eddie, are you going to talk? Yes, sir. What makes you think you'll talk? Because I just know I will. How do you know? Because I'm just positive. <laughs> what makes you feel so positive? Because I, I can just feel it. Where did you feel it? Well, well, all up in here and just all over. Eddie? Sir? You want to count to ten right quick by the help of God? Yes, sir. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eddie? <laughs> Eddie, what grade are you in? I am in the seventh grade. How do you feel right now? Well, I just feel wonderful. Do you give God thanks? Yes, sir. Shake my hand. 
I'm with you 100% in Jesus' name. My sister, do you need prayer? Yes. Very much? Yes, sir. You have been in an automobile accident November 1st, 1957, seriously injured. You've had both legs broken, your neck has been broken, and your spine. And uh, there's an affliction in your lungs. Your right hand is paralyzed. I can't feel anything with my left hand. My vision is very poor. Uh, Earlene Robbins, 11776 right. North Birmingham, Alabama, of the Baptist Church. Right. Earlene. Yes, sir. Do you fully believe Christ is able to do this? I know he is. If I wasn't living for God, I wouldn't know this. But he left me here for a purpose. Because on my deathbed, he told me, or told my mother, it was up to a higher power. And I know my work on earth is not done. Which is more serious, your hands or some other part of your body? My hands and my eyes. Both hands? Yes. One hand is paralyzed, the other has no feeling. Right. And your eyes are very bad. Yes, sir, I can't. Back in the audience, you are a blur to me up here. Now, here's the way I wish to pray. You see, I believe Christ is standing beside me. I can't see him with my physical eyes. I see him through my mind. I feel him in my heart and standing by me. Uh, Ma'am? I feel him, too. Yes. He told me in 1947 I was to lay hands upon the people in prayer and pray for them. He told me that. Now, as he stands by me, and I see him not with my eyes, but with my mind, as I see him, I see him saying, Oral, you lay hands upon Earlene Robbins as an instrument so I may heal her body. Now I'm touching you as he tells me. Are you ready? I'm ready. Christ, I touch her because you tell me to touch her, and I believe for her healing. Stretch forth your hands. Open and close them. Glory. <laughs> Let's help her rejoice. Shake my right hand. Yes, you have life. Shake this hand. Oh, you do have life. Uh, now, how does your... Look straight at me. Your eyes are clear. Yes, sir, you're as clear as a bell. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. You said I was a blur before, and now I'm clear. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, God. You see, audience, I'm not always able to convey how I think and how I feel because words are so inadequate sometimes. But this is the way I do believe. I see Christ through my mind. It's as if he was standing here saying, Oral, you pray. You pray as I command you. And I can see him telling me that. And I believe it. Do you believe it? I do. Tell me exactly how you feel this moment. I don't know. I can't express it. Just wonderful. Do you feel that way all over? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And do you believe it's faith in God who did that? I know it. May I shake that hand that was used to be paralyzed? Glory to God. Go with my prayers. Amen. <laughs> Earlene, Earlene, raise your hands up again. Turn around and raise them up. Open and close them. That's good. That's good. God did that.